Hello, this is Seamaster587, and welcome to some weird dev stuff I've been working on. Uh, first thing I've been working on as of late is a uh, force field system. Uh, given a redstone signal to the force field projector, we'll project a force field. Simple as that. It's got a kind of cool animation with it. Um, I think I've, been, I've got a much bigger one over here. Another interesting thing I've been working on is this gravity controller block. I could do the ability to control gravity in a short radius. If I right click to build it. It's got a cool little structure here. Put a lever on it because this thing can be redstone controlled. Yeah. I'll do this. So as you can so in here I've got a couple settings, one for radius, one for target gravity. Target gravity kind of does what it sounds like. It's the intensity of the gravity you want to specify. Uh, currently, I do have it set to take power, although it doesn't actually use it, and I might actually just remove the uh, requirement for power in the future. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn this to redstone normal. I'm going to turn the machine on. Oh, I forgot to apply redstone to it. That's what happened. So you can see target great target gravity is 14, or well, it should be 0.14. Uh, radius is set to 10. It's got a little cool animation where it spins. Not much has happened because I haven't really chosen direction yet. The cool thing with this is you can actually choose target direction. So let's see if this way is north. If I come up here and click north and click it active set. I'll start kind of drifting sideways a bit. Also has an effect on uh, animals and arrows. Let's see. I can I try not to fall too far away. <laughs> Let's see, so change the target gravity up to something much higher. The difference between uh, additive and set is additive takes into account the gravity of the world you're currently on. So stuff will still fall down and be attracted to whatever direction you set. You can also change it so... Uh, change the... oops. Um, yeah, if you're not careful you can make gravity negative and kind of get stuck on the ceiling. Uh, so I want to make that additive. So if I make it additive and change it to uh, 100 or 1, which is Earth's gravity. I am on Earth, so it'll just negate that. So if I jump, I can jump much higher and sometimes not exactly come down. Um, arrows are affected, just kind of like everything else. And uh, yeah, the, the speed of the animation on this thing is dependent on the strength of gravity you set, so if you make it stronger it'll spin faster and so on. You can make the radius a bit wider here. Uh, you can also apply two directions at the same time, so if I do north and top, I'll get a bit of both. Uh, I see like mushroom stuck way up there. Let's see. I'm gonna change it to south and it'll go flying the other way. <laughs> Oops. And maybe he'll die. But, yeah, I thought this would be kind of something cool to share. I'm hoping to put this in the next alpha build of advanced rocketry. Yeah, alpha build is going to remain unstable for a little while until I get a lot, some more things sorted out. So, there will be some bugs. I will keep updating the uh, 1.0.x builds. Um, just bu That, that uh, tree is mostly stable now. It's just going to be bug fixes from now on, but... Anyway, uh, enjoy the mod, enjoy Minecraft, enjoy life, whatever, what have you. <laughs> Goodbye.